today I am back with another video and I am going to be doing my January favorites today because it is January 29th. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into the video. I don't have like a ton of stuff, but I feel like I've accumulated enough to show you guys. I'm going to start with fashion because that's fun. My first favorite of the month is for sure my... Brandy Melville mom jeans. I've never bought jeans from Brandy Melville or anything that's like sized from them, so um, I wasn't exactly sure how these were gonna fit. I bought a size 28, so I think they do run a little bit small because I'm usually a 27 or a 26, and I was a 28 in these. I probably could do a 27, but I wanted them to be like mom jeans, like baggy and stuff. So um, I did need to size up for that, but they're super, super comfortable. The buttons are kind of annoying because there's like four of them. I'd rather have like a zipper and a button, but it's still pretty much the same thing. Um, and they have these like rips in the knees on either side. And I like wearing them rolled and unrolled with like ankle boots. And they're just super comfortable. I wore them for like three days straight when I first got them. And then I washed them and I was like, oh, yep. I remember how these felt when I got them because they got super like big because they just kind of stretch out. But these are great, great purchase. I think they were $50, which for denim I'm like willing to spend. All my jeans are like more expensive because I feel like that's like all I wear. So why not invest in jeans so that they last longer than like a week? Next are these high heeled ankle boots from Target. They're by the brand Sam and Libby. Um, I actually got them at 50% off, which I was so excited about because I did have a pair of high heeled ankle, black ankle boots, but um, I got them two years ago from H&M. And one day I was walking around and I felt something like in the shoe so I took it off and I look inside and there's like an exposed screw in the like heel part right in here and I was like oh well okay um, I just like wore down the padding in the shoe I guess and so it wasn't like the pointy part of the shoe it was the top of the screw but it still was uncomfortable so I finally upgraded got a new pair these only cost me like $21 because they were 50% off so I was super excited and they're really comfortable more comfortable than my last pair I think it's because they almost have a little bit of a platform but yeah these are great and I think they're really cute on they look good with like jeans dresses whatever all good. Last little fashion-y item is this black crossbody bag. I have my little pom-pom on here from Topshop, but it, I've had that for a while. This is from Forever 21 and it was $19. I was on a search for a new black crossbody bag because I wasn't in love with mine and the strap kept like falling off and it was just kind of annoying. So when I saw this, I was like, damn, this is like sleek looking. It looks more expensive than it actually is, which is awesome. The inside of the bag is a little bit tight, which has kind of been an issue for me, but I can mostly fit everything I need. Um, and there's one zip pocket, which is how I have this attached. There's one zip pocket on the inside, so you could put like your cash or cards in there just in case so like they don't fall out for sure. And there's another like not zip pocket. They're kind of, they're both too small to put like a phone in, so like the phone goes in the main pocket and your wallet and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean it's been great for easy use so far and I think it just looks really clean and I like the silver on the side and straps nice and sturdy feeling so I kind of match my bag right now. I literally could go out like this except for the fact that I'm in PJ pants. Okay, next, um, this is just kind of a random um, item I just picked up at Urban Outfitters the other day. Um, I was there and I met up with Carrie after class one day because we actually got some new pillows for our living room finally. So um, I found this there though. It's just like a rose gold notebook from Work Happy. I got it at Urban Outfitters. It was only like 11 bucks, which I feel like if you know urban prices, they're all overpriced. So I felt like this was kind of a good deal. Um, and I think it's really sleek and stuff. So this will be my like notebook for when I don't want to bring like a big backpack to school. And I've already like written some um, Italian notes in it and stuff. And yeah, I like how it has this little strap so it stays closed. It's got actually like a bookmark in here too. And I don't know, I like it. It's just really pretty looking and I like my notes to look nice. Next, let's go into uh, makeup beauty products. Um, so I recently started using a beauty blender instead of my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki and my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I kind of use those on and off, like switching back and forth, but then I recently started using a beauty blender. I have used a beauty blender before, but I wasn't crazy about it when I first used it, but I think it's because I didn't know you were supposed to get it wet. Like, I don't remember ever getting them wet, which is like basic 101 rule when you're using a beauty blender, but I just didn't know. So I really hated it. Like, I did not like the way it applied my makeup, because I don't know if you've ever tried using a dry beauty blender, but it just doesn't look as nice, at least on my skin. 
So actually my sister has a like knockoff beauty blender from like the just drugstore and they have so many awesome ones there like there was three at my like local drugstore yesterday when I went to look but this is the actual like Sephora beauty blender kind of thing and um yeah no I I'm really like it. I used it today to apply my concealer and my foundation and I'm really enjoying it it's definitely not as harsh on the skin as like a brush even like the nicest of brushes it's just very gentle and it does like give you like more of a glowy effect I feel like so I'm very much liking this sorry if I'm like sound congested and stuff because I am because I'm sick and then another item I have recently fallen back in love with is the Maybelline fit me concealer I'm in the shade 15 fair and I'm just obsessed with it I actually just wore this yesterday like I didn't wear foundation usually I would just wear foundation instead of foundation and concealer but now I'm like just using concealer. I love this concealer. It's a lot um, more like dewy than the NARS concealer in my opinion. The NARS one is more thick, which I don't like as much. This kind of just blends in easier and is just more lightweight on the skin, but it still has great coverage. If I had to recommend the NARS Sheer Glow or the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I would absolutely recommend this one. It's cheaper and I think it works better. The last beauty product I'm going to talk about is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I'm sure you've all heard tons about this. Um, I actually bought this when I was on my way home to Florida for winter break out of a vending machine at JFK, out of a Benefit vending machine. And I was like, I should try this because Carrie's like obsessed with it. She's like hit pan on like two or three of these. And they're not cheap, but geez, is it amazing. Like I've recently discovered I just like love the way I look with bronzer because I'm so pale. I felt like before I couldn't get a bronzer that would just blend as nicely as this because I do have like breakouts on my cheeks sometimes and so a lot of bronzers kind of like cling to the breakouts and it just lo doesn't look very smooth but I feel like this looks a lot more like glowy and stuff. I use it just with um, the Sigma tapered face brush. It is perfect for bronzer I've found and it's good for like blending out the bronzer as well. It has like a pointed tip so you can get like that sharp line which is what I do. I kind of apply apply like a dark sharp line and then I blend it out and it's just like I love the way it looks and I also do it on my forehead and on my chin because I kind of want to like minimize the sides of my forehead and kind of like make my chin look less sharp I don't know contouring I watched some videos and I got inspired um and last little beauty item is something I've actually had for like ever it's the just Burberry perfume I don't know which one this is I think it's just the original it's it's not Burberry Brit because I also used to have that one but it just smells so nice. I used to wear this all the time and I have so much left, I feel like. It's like halfway full and I've had this forever, but I completely forgot I had it. I was in the market for a new perfume because I don't really have any perfumes. But then I went home and I was like, oh my God, I still have this. Oh, it smells so good. I'm putting it on. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And it kind of makes me feel nostalgic because I'm pretty sure I got this probably eight years ago, like a really long time ago. It still smells so good. Next is some home decor I've actually recently picked up. This pillow is um, the new like center pillow on Carrie and I's couch and I think it's so pretty. Our wall is kind of a gray blue behind the couch so this kind of matches perfectly. It's kind of more of a vibrant blue than the wall but it's so so nice. And I love how it's like very intricate looking. Um, I got this at Urban Outfitters. Pretty big as you can see. And I don't know, I just thought it was really nice. And it matches our couch really nice. This is our new favorite purchase for the living room. And then another home decor thing, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's in the background. I will put a picture right here because I like, don't want to take it off the wall. But I got that little tassel hanging thing from Target. And I know they sell very similar ones at Urban Outfitters and like Anthropology, but they're like 200 bucks for that thing. And that was $30, you guys, and it's massive. Like you can't really tell, but it's really big and I love it so much. It's just like very neutral colors so like it goes in any room and it's just all you need is literally like a thumbtack to hang it up. It's not that heavy so it won't like fall. I feel like it adds a lot because it's really large and I really 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 like it. And then the last items I'm going to talk about I actually don't have um, but they're like music, television, whatever. If you guys have not listened to this album yet you need to please go listen to the new Panic at the Disco album. It is so damn good. I'm obsessed with it. And I mean, I was like always a fan of like, I write sins not tragedies and like their old shit. It was like my emo dream. I loved it so much. He is so freaking cute now. 
and he's got an amazing voice and the album is just so good. I'm obsessed with it. I cannot stop listening to it. It's probably like my favorite album that I've listened to in the past six months to a year. Like honestly, it really tops like everything that's come out lately for me. My favorite songs are Death of a Bachelor. I think that's like my favorite now. LA Devotee, which was like one of their singles. I like Golden Days. I like Crazy Equals Genius. That's very like 20s inspired sounding. I really like that. It sounds like it'd be in Gatsby. The whole album is so good. There's like a slow song. I can't think of the name, but there's like one slow song on the album. It's the last track on the album, so that one's good. Um, I don't know. It's all really, really, really good. And I'm obsessed with it, and you should listen to it if you haven't. Like, even if you think like, oh, I won't like a Panic at the Disco album, like seriously, give it a shot. It sounds very crooner, like Frank Sinatra. Like he's got an amazing voice, and it's like very different than like the normal Panic at the Disco. They still have like kind of that creepy vibe, which I freaking love. But it's definitely more like not mainstream because it's still like strange. But I I love it. You should just listen to the album. Just my January favorite TV show is How I Met Your Mother. I've watched it before, but I've just like started watching it again because I finished The Office for like the fifth time. And I was like, I need to watch something else. And I hadn't watched How I Met Your Mother in quite a while. So I'm already on like the third season again. It's just like such an easy show to just watch and it's funny. Me and Carrie will just like sit down in the living room and watch it for like, an hour or two while we're just chilling, eating our breakfast before she goes to work, before I go to class, whatever. It's like a nice show to have on in the background. It's just the best show. It's on Netflix and it's wonderful. All right, well, that is it for my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am considering doing an updated everyday makeup routine because I haven't done one in probably like over six months, I think, because I think it was before I went to London, like before the summer, I'm not sure. But it's been a while and a lot of my products have changed and like the way I apply it, a lot of the products has changed. So if you guys would want to see that, just let me know in the comments or whatever. Um, also, I've gotten a lot of requests to do like skincare routines and I'm like hesitant to do it because I still have breakouts and I'm still trying to figure out how to like control my skin. But um, I'm definitely like willing to do that, especially like a dry skincare routine or like my dry skincare favorites. So if you guys want to see something like that, also let me know. Any other requests, always leave them in the comments because I will always take them into consideration. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you already aren't. I usually upload about once a week. Um, I don't have a day because I'm not consistent and I can't commit. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!